Why go on people who no bless up on yourself in a happy Wednesday, you know what I mean? So I have some very interesting topics coming up soon. I'm going to show you the sneak preview. But before I do that, make sure you like up the video. Yeah man, flame them and shame them. You see flame to a uh, man a beer. Kusha Kasha coming up soon. Valiant. Watch yourself, youth. We tire down. We tire down upon with data them. Jeffries. How the fuck your name? We tired out up and we use them. We sun them. What? The Celine bag that you bought me for my birthday. It seemed to me that that bag was fake. It's a knockoff. No! And I called him up and I said, Sizzler, you know, I want to move back to, to Kingston. Can you help me get a place? Can you help me pay the rent? <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, we talk, I see no friend and a body here with done we and we are going done, done then because that, that same thing we are talking about. You come out as a Christian and you know you want done people. Everybody say, me, 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 me. You don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news. So people, female recording dancehall artist Spice, the queen of dancehall, she speaks about her birthday gift for one of her friend by fear, or I should say ex-friend. Anyhow, mama make we know definitely allegedly say the gift was a big, 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 big fraud. Judge ja, ja, God. And also, she speaks the reason why she and the Rasta man left. Yeah man, Spice, I make we know say you can't show some people what you call friend, you know. Judge ja, ja, God. Then people, imagine you check for your friend, but at the end of the day that the friend they don't check for you. What you have to do? Cut off the friend they don't. Anyhow, make we hear with the female artist, the queen of dance all have to say about the situation. People remember for like up the video, you know? Oh. I said, um, the Celine bag that you bought me for my birthday, it seemed to me that that bag was fake. It's a knockoff. I said, you can please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not perfect, but I can show you the signs to that bag, why the reasons led me to believe the conclusion of the bag. Because the world of the silly and a strip off. And we know that Carly always have our receipt. So the reason why I told her that that bag she gave me for my gift was fake was so she can't come with our receipt because she always come with our receipt. So if me tell Carly, say, Carly, you buy me a fake bag for my birthday. Why you give me a fake bag? Not a disrespect. You can't give me a knockoff bag. Carly, where well, we know would have come with our receipt and said, no girl. Girl, this bag is not fake. Here is the receipt where I bought your bag. Right or wrong? This is Carly we're talking about. Remember, said Carly said she had a receipt, the, the receipt, the receipt queen. So, a lot of you say, oh, take accountability, take accountability. Yes, I can take accountability. But it's been months now I've been telling Carly that why would you give me a, a fake knockoff bag? I, I don't do that. I don't, I don't play those games. Like, it to me, I don't know how you take it. Can you see one thing? I know my fans them. When I'm wrong, I see them as I'm wrong. Or I never did have to do that. Because I'm a human being. I'm not perfect. So a lot of you who love say, oh, take accountability, that's only because you don't know me. But again, I understand. You're going off of the narrative of the 30 second clip that you may see. But correct me if I'm wrong, if you want to feel some kind of way, if you know the type of person you are for someone, how you go all out for them, you give them a... You know, give them no fear. So it's like, to me, I feel like she... she I don't know if you explain it. I don't know if you talk to her. God, no. It's like, she, it's, like a, it's just disrespectful. That's disrespectful. So when I said it to her, I was saying it for her to say, no, here's the receipt. Because if Carly come to me right now and she say, oh, your bag that you bought for me was fake. I don't even have to have the, the physical receipt. I can go to Versace store or going to Louis Vuitton and give them my cell phone number and they can bring up the the long the, 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 the long list of things that I purchased from the store. It's recorded there in every transaction. All I have to do is give them my number. So the Carly that I know, the, the long time that I've been accusing her, because it's an accusation. It's an accusation because me and girl, me always I buy things and shop and rare and Mr. DC, I come out for the silly in bag. And the E catch up on one place and it don't look so right. So me start accuse I said the bag fake. It don't have to be a fax. But should I come with a receipt? All right. So that's one part. I tell her I said the bag fake. Me I wait for her to come with a receipt all now. Remember me know the date when she gave it for my birthday. So she now go can't come make up no receipt. And give me. She have to show me in her phone. Where she go go buy the Celine bag. 2021. Sure. 
Which are the eyelash one fix? This I come off or this one? Because when you not tell me fix the eyelash, I couldn't fix it. This I come off? She has to show me where she buy the bag. 2021. And then the argument done. So I said to her, I said, the gifts that I bought for you, I went directly to the store in Lennox Mall to buy all of them. I said, but the ceiling bag that you gave me, it seemed like it was fake. It's a knockoff. But you can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not perfect. But I can show you the signs and the reasons why it led me to that conclusion of the bag. And I said I was waiting for the receipts. A few moments later. Your friend had sex with my ex-man. Yes, I didn't ask me at all. Behind my back. And I was told that you knew about it and you did not tell me. I said, however, when I told you about the incident, you acted like it was nothing. And you continued to show up with her in places that I was in as if it was nothing. But if the shoes was on the other foot, you would have wanted me to stick by you. I said, however, I've grown and I've learned to accept that loving someone in a certain way does not mean that that person is going to love you back. That's what I said. And we're going to speak on each part of it in my own words. I had to write this letter this way so she can read it as so she can understand. But long and short of it, when we done, let me continue. Let me say, when our friendship started, it was showing, when our friendship started showing signs of betrayal, it was hard for me to digest. I said, sadly, my life cycle has always been whenever I love someone, they always betray me. I said, it doesn't matter how much of my heart and soul. I said, it doesn't matter. I said to her, I said, sadly, my life cycle has been whenever I love someone, they always betray me. And it doesn't matter how much of my heart and soul I pour into them, they always in return just walk over it. My reaction to you last year was wrong and it was mirrored by the fact that I was feeling a familiar feeling of betrayal. And I was more hurt by the feeling because it was coming from you. The last person on earth that I thought would have hurt me. I said, I remember when you were crying to me when we were in Jamaica. You said, if no one else in this world have your back, you know for a fact that I had your back. All I wanted was to feel the same way from you. I said, so when you started to doing the things behind my back to hurt me, it hurt me deeply. And it caused our friendship to become complicated. I said, I hope that all of this explanation can bring you more clarity for peace and healing. And I wish you God's grace. That was the letter. That was the letter. And the clip that you saw when I was trying to talk was because I know Carly do not want me to read the letter. So she kept saying, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. No, L read the letter. Listen to why I'm angry. Stop making it seem... Start, start making it seem like, like I'm crazy or stop painting me to be a villain. Stop telling people, oh, I'm this person and that person when you know who I am. Stop doing it. I was good to you. You was friends with me for five years, almost more than five years. So now all of a sudden you want to paint like me as this person. When I said princess, this is the princess I was talking about. So that's why I pinned her comment because that's her name in the letter. Because I was shocked when Princess said to me that Carly called me. She, you know, she was talking to me. She was telling me where you were and stuff like that. So how did Carly get to decide who visit me while I was dying? It was wrong. I felt some kind of way because people who I wanted to probably open my eyes and see, I didn't see them. And I'm pinning Princess comment because it says, I told the truth, sis. I heard you and I felt your true pain, sis. I totally, I know it's more, I don't know how to show more. But um, princess, thank you, I love you. But when I, the princess in the letter, this is producer princess. This ain't no joke person. This is a big respectable person in the business. This is not even somebody that y'all normally see. Who in Atlanta who know pr producer princess, they know who this woman is. This is the... <laughs> I don't know if she want me to say it because I don't like to bring people in mix up because I know that this is a respectable woman. But I don't have time to play games. I don't have time to play to tell lies. 
and a pin princess comment so that y'all can see that this is not no made up story because a lot of you like to talk about oh this is made up or this is this is real life this is not where people are make up i'm gonna need for make up story for love and hip-hop i'm a real artist something that y'all y'all seem to be taking for granted So for me to um go through a six page letter, thank you, princess. By the way, I love you. I appreciate the support because you could have you could have keep your mouth shut and act like you never said what you said or whatever. But I mean, there's no reason for you to lie. So no reason for you to keep you know keep it a secret anyway. So thank you for actually coming out because that's another thing that I have with friends when they say things or do things and then when they come out, them act like say wash your hand of all of it them act like say oh by the way spice official stats you don't understand how much love and respect i have for you i love you so much spice QOD already always expressed to you how i love you but i love you guys but what i'm not gonna do is see y'all out there you know like always just coming to support me i have to make a know the real truth and so yeah me want to go over the things them i already telling you about the bag i understand that very clearly but imagine the situation because I'm telling you, I'm not going to talk about this again. So I'm going to speak in my own language now. Who get it, get it, and who not get it, get it. So people, check this out. Female TikTok blogger beat Santi Chanty Dana. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. Santi Dana been up and want some straight note. What a kushukasha. Yes, I am. Auntie Dana. You know, someone come out the other day, yes, I'm going to say, something more you say about Derek and Derek food buying where my buy. You understand? I never disrespect you. And if everybody can go watch my video, I never disrespect you in a no form of way. I'm going to talk what you say, and what you say, everybody has say what I say. You understand? You're going to talk as you're not afraid of nobody, and you're done with And we are going to done then, because that, that same thing I talk about. You come out as a Christian, and then you know you want done people. You get to me, I say? You come out as a Christian, and then now it reached to a point, a peer done, you're done people on the net. You understand? You're going to say, oh, they are foreign. When we know, help Derek and try to get him asylum or try to get him this. Derek have a platform even bigger than mine, if you notice. You understand? Derek have a platform can beg people to help himself right now to outreach. That's why you should even reach in the man business. I talk about this and talk about that. Derek, I'm on a boss right now. He just want somebody to stay by his side and manage him the right way and help him manage him money, make him know the right thing to do. You understand? You come say, oh, they are foreign. We don't we help Derek. I never come out to me at the charity work. I mean, nobody else never come out to me and help the people. You come out and say you're a Christian and you help the people. You are the charity works and you for do it. Not me. Not, not nobody else we are calling him. And yeah, you don't know we. And you don't know me. I mean, I don't know you neither. Because guess what? A social media, I see a to on TV. Same way. I never see in a real life. I don't know you. The same way, like how oh, you can see my video on social media. Yeah. So I think the two will be mutual, right? That's so. You understand you come say nobody don't know we if we shame. We shame, shame our me don't know you. Me don't know you I can't take me a look. Me don't know you after me don't want to know you neither. Yeah? I can't take me a look. I never disrespect your lady. You understand? So if you want to come down, you come down. Because Derek have him TikTok where him can go big for him own a charity. I am people that we come through. Derek no need no help from nobody. Derek no need me if you go post something on my page or tell me if you go this and that. You understand? Yeah. So we ask the auntie and I for sure, you say the same thing when I come out and I talk in every video. You come out and I'm like, you're a Christian and then you know, I'll be a bagger bagger thing here. Go on with. Pure bagger bagger, but I don't talk, I'm not talking about my chat. Yeah, I don't mean, know you, but I can't take me a look, so I'm not stop talking about you. Right, this song. Recording reggae dancehall artist Sizzla Kalanji, ex girlfriend, forward out and speaks about the artist and also a pretty than I say. Yeah, man. Now, people, when me say girlfriend, me no mean say the person them do go do go, you know what I mean? Yeah, because a whole heap of girlfriend me have, you know, and me and them never ever do go do go yet. You see what me I deal with? So, we Jamaicans. We need to stop think small and pretty big. You hear that? Any of viewers, she has chat up a crocus bag of things, so I'm going to run what she have to say. You let me know in the comment section if you agree with what she has said or if you disagree. Now, kick it off. I know him personally, and it's not like we've been intimate. And even, even if we've been intimate, it's nobody's business. But I am saying, it's not like he had something to gain and each time he helped me, he would ask for something in return. No. No, I remember after I had my daughter and I decided like I want to move back to Kingston to work and I said, you know what, who's going to help me? And I called him up and I said, Sizzler, you know, I want to move back to, to Kingston. 
can you help me get a place can you help me pay the rent can you help me um get few furniture to put in there and he said sure he said do you want me to help to help you look for a place and i told him no i i have somebody who can do it but i didn't i didn't that's another story right always willing to help no matter what so i can't sit around and watch people disrespecting him i don't know of like i said i don't know of him being a woman beater and as for the guns who is oblivion and ignorant to the fact why he had those guns should go and do their research okay and stop spreading propagandas about people that you don't know I don't know why we love to jump up and take up negativity on our head and spread rumors about people that we don't know. And as far as Sizzler is a dunce, how is Sizzler a dunce? Sizzler is a university graduate. Sizzler is a university graduate. Sizzler stand with kings and queens and princes and presidents and prime ministers. So how is he a dunce? And bear in mind, dunce, is different from being unintelligent dunce is different from being ignorant dunce mean when you can't read and write so well okay this is no dunce and saying rastas are dunce all rastas are dunce you don't say that about people because you don't know people and i don't care what anybody has to say I am talking about my experience with Sizzler. I am talking about my experience with him. He's a good person. Sizzler is, a, Sizzler is not a violent person. If you notice, even in that same DJ Khaled video where he was burning the plaques, he had to tell the, 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 the other Rasta guy to quiet down because the guy was about to say certain things. Sizzler doesn't have to do anything to anybody. The people around him will do it for him because he has helped so many people. He has sent so many people's kids to school and he has done unsurmountable things. Is it unsurmountable? I don't even know. So many things for people, right? He has done so much for people. So to sit and disrespect him, no. It's not sitting well with a lot of us. It's not sitting well. You cannot disrespect somebody like that, that people love and respect for all that you have done, his contribution to the communities. You can't do that. It's not acceptable. You can, but the outcome after, and like I said, a lot of you will say, oh, you're supporting violence or you're promoting violence. Bear in mind that this is from, his, from ancient times, back in history, coming right back to now. Right? Coming down to now, you can't disrespect certain people. No matter which country, which tribe, which race, there are certain leaders that you can't disrespect and get away with it because we must learn to respect each other. And some leaders are so serious, you can't play around with them. You can't, it's not acceptable. Especially when these people have done so much for the community. If scissor teeth brown, of course the man smoke weed, his teeth is gonna be brown. We all know that. Unless he decides to bleach his teeth. What's wrong? You've gone too far. How close have you been to the man to know if him frowns or if him smell good or... We need to stop these things. Disrespecting the Prime Minister, disrespecting other people, calling out people and things they don't know. Talking all these things about people and you don't know these people personally. You don't go to their house to sit down and eat and drink and you and them have a good chat or you and, you and them affiliated some way somehow i do not know what is wrong with us as a people i do not know and there are there are so many of you they are supporting this supporting this nonsense it's not nice to disrespect people let alone tell people about their mother 
and all these things discriminating people degrading people I can't even remember what I want to say to be honest with you because I can't like I said it just doesn't sit well with me it doesn't sit well with me it doesn't sit well with me and it will never sit well with me because people can't work so hard to build their career and you have people on the other end trying to tear them down bad mouthing, bad mouthing them without any facts talking all sides, sorts of derogative things about them like I said I don't even know what to say anymore I don't even know what to say but I don't like it and in my book Susa is a very good person I could go on and on I had a friend who even tried to date Sizzla behind my back like I said Sizzla and I we weren't dating and I took her to meet Sizzla as a matter of fact it was her it was her fault why we even ended up at Sizzla that night because she didn't have anywhere to go and my other friends didn't want to put her up so I had to call Sizzla to ask him to give her a place to stay and I brought her there to, go, to, to get a place to stay and she she went behind my back to try and date Sizzla and Sizzla told see no she told me first that Sizzla asked her what about Latisha that's me because he she told me that he said she should remember that no matter what he will always have feelings for me so he would never date one of my friends Ja ja God, it bigger than me people. On don't listen where moms are say. <laughs> Anyhow, make we hear what Queen of Africa have to say. Queen of Africa step out and a chat up a crocus bag of things, you know. Vibes cartel get serious warning from the Queen. And also, moms call valiant name, Angie Free name, so no, no, you know. A big kushuka shot. Anyhow, you the viewers, make sure you know, like up the video, share the video. If you is a new viewer to this channel, you need to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Yeah, man. People, make we hear what the Queen have to say. Make we see where I go up on the 14th when them are going to use Vibes Cartel because it's maroon powers them using with Vibes Cartel. And I am telling you, Vibes Cartel, if them let you out, babes, if you not come join with Nyenke Pong Jamaican people for defend the youths them in the inner city where are dead out because them want them for dead out because of them are the true inheritance of this land here and the new Jamaica cannot make if them the year are going like them free and wild. Vibes cartel if you come a road Friday morning, Saturday morning, two weeks after them say yes you must go. And now come join with nine kepong Jamaican maroon. Can remember, babes, you say you are maroon. Come show me what kind of maroon you be once and for all. Because nine kepong Jamaican people need defense. Them need defense right now. Them don't need nobody else to trap them brain no more because them love them. Them need something to come creep them up off of the ground. Take out with data them out of taboo. We brother them need some big brothers now to tell them say no man no fi all up and down in a them anus against them will and have bend them out of influencers and tell them say let them get in them hearts lick is okay. We need a big brother ex and Mike and young man them my dearly beloved warrior prince. King Vibes Cartel, our youths need a big brother. I am begging you when you drop a road, take on the music, take on the struggle. I me mean, I ask nobody else again for no more help. All of them who me ask for help, then show me where them a deal with them, show me the side where them depend. Me still over yes up on the side of the people. The people love you before you go in, babes. So me I beg you, when you come out, you see where your influence do on the first half. Plan the second half, me I beg you, make we take out some of my little girl them out of taboo and some of the little youth them out of the grave them and out of the cell block them. Make them come out of the cell with you with them mindset, with them actions. Make them put on the gun them and make Andrew them little plan mash up. And we have to do it. Spice me a yeah, ball, ball, free world boss. 
When him come out, stand upside him as the queen of dance hall and take out the daughter them out of taboo. Take out the daughter them out of the go-go club, them out of the sex trade them, out of the sadamism them with their mindset under. Direct political artists them and tell them, say as much as them have freedom for the music, don't do that to be you them. Ziggy Marley them, um, all of the Marley's them, get up off of the man, Bob, Bob Marley one bandwagon and come talk for ex American and Jamaican youths them. And them Bob Marley dead for. Are the ex American Jamaican them Bob dead for? Are the ex American Jamaican them Bob dead for? Me I beg the maroon Jamaican them in the farm of the Africans who came on this transatlantic slave ship. Come forward and help the ex American Jamaicans who help all of you who came off the ship when you landed here. It was the ex American Jamaican who helped you guys. When you came off the ship, we are one black family. Is that unity Bob Marley was asking for? When him say unite, it was the original free people and enslaved people. Free people and enslaved people joining hands against oppression and aggression and doing it in a unifying and a loving way and standing up so that the system can be brought to book in how they govern, in how they treat with their policies and their laws that they set, that they say should should guide and should protect us. None of it has been protecting us at no stage from since slavery was introduced into a wonderful colony of free thinking, free people who was existing with Haiti, who was existing with Cuba, who had free speech and free will that came directly from the creator. We are demanding that you allow us to remember at least that that is the foundation that we came upon. Valiant, watch yourself, youth. We tired down. We tired down upon with that of them. Jeffries, how would the fuck your name? We tired down upon with you, them. We son them. Watch your body washing, pan. We son them. Creature them. The creature them want to set up as influencers in our youths, them life. Them empowered and a run through the ground like tornado. Andrew Olness, you empower Derek Morgan from the waterfront. Andrew Olness, you empower a creature named Derek Morgan from the waterfront. When you legalize Saramism in front with face, in front with children, them. It not go so. If I even a memory, I know we culture that. That's why I write times like these, come I see where we let go. How we are the true Jamaicans, them. For true, you never know, say so some of we that go left, boy. Yeah. Our rock, our ground. I eat, I will not take you away from. Because we not in a defense. I want to give you KFC and rum and dirty artists who no love we, for influence we, and turn with little daughter them in a nothing, and turn with son them in a batty boy. Right up. The gay community now no regulation in a Jamaica. Them can do as them like. But when you defend a youth, you become the enemy. What did I do? This ancients, what did I do to be isolated? What did I do? All we wanted was for the youths to be put to focus. Remember our children, they are influenced by us. A lot of them are done, so as you say. So is where you say, them go by. Where are the voices for the ex American Jamaican people? The nine kepong Jamaican maroon. Where the Jamaican maroon leader there? <laughs> I uno everybody want. I uno everybody line up against. Uno I go do it. Uno I go, uno I go do it. Uno I go do it to your ancestors. We are going to mark one next one. We are going to mark we and stone we. And laugh off of we and say we're mad. 
while they make the gains with them Andrew Oldness. No fear run it ground so flat and all. It's like how you see him fret. In the last local government, keep him fretting, man. Make we unite and go in the road and stand up and tell him, say, we don't like the 80 negotiation, man. It no sound like 80 people are go all right by it, man. We don't like the plan for Jamaica, man. Yeah, you don't know it's your girl Posh Morris. I'm representing for Tell You TV. Come check out the latest in entertainment news.